हेलो बच्चों गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल आई एम सिकंदर सर एंड टुडे आई कम विथ न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज वर्क डन बाय ए कॉन्स्टेंट फोर्स यस टुडे वी डिस्कस वर्क डन बाय ए कॉन्स्टेंट कॉन्स्टेंट फोर्स यस but before it those who are the okay new students please subscribe my channels and after completing this class share this video also okay and like so now come to the points we have topics work done by constant force work done by constant force means what whenever we apply the force on the object okay whenever we apply the force on object you know that object moves or simple you can say that the work done by constant force can be measures okay the work done or work done work done by a force can be measured measured as the product as the product of applied applied force and their displacement displacement yes so if we have the object like that okay and it having mass m okay and at initially it is at point a so whenever whenever the object moves suppose that and it goes from a to b okay then what will happens a to b you know that if you will consider you this is the x axis y axis okay then this you will give the component here will be force along force along which direction if you will say this is the x axis so x you can write yes you can give so this is the force that is the fy and this will be the resultant f if you will give the component so here will be fx is equal to f cos theta and here will be fy is equal to f sin theta okay <coughs> f cos theta and f sin theta now you will find out what is the work done of that along x axis now work done <coughs> that is the w is equal to fx okay force into displacement suppose s is the displacement between them then what you will write along x axis you will write f that is the fx okay fx and then s and then cos theta can we write yes means w is equal to fx cos theta cos theta into s you can write also <coughs> if you will write the cos okay s yes like that also you can write means if the angle between them is given then you can put here yes. okay and if it is not given then directly you will apply the w is equal to w is equal to fs okay related one questions you can see that one question suppose that if the question is saying that prove the angle between uh, a study we have also discussed that when the force is applying on perpendiculars perpendicular means making an angle 90 degree oh, on that case what you will take suppose that if okay uh, suppose that or you can say prove that vectors a or you take the uh, questions to prove that vectors a equal to vector a equal to you can take i plus 2z minus 3k theek hai it is in meters or directly you take and vector b is equal to 2i minus j like that are acting 
acting perpendicular perpendicular to each other okay perpendicular to each other then you know that you will take since find the work done to prove if these and these are perpendicular to each other so you know that w is equal to fs cos theta so w is equal to f in that case you can take f you have what you will take or you better you find out in case of that if you will take the perpendicular condition here that is the 90 degree cos 90 means 0 so here we will w f s <coughs> into 0 means w is equal to <coughs> 0 this condition you will take it means it means <coughs> you will take here the dot product will 0 dot product will 0 it means vector a dot vector b is equal to 0 or you take this ones vectors a dot vector b equal to i plus 2j minus 3k okay and another you have 2i minus j okay the dot product you will take and the dot dot products so what will be the answers what will be the answers you can take here you can multiply the dot products okay so better you take here plus or plus then here will be i dot i equal to 1 i dot i equal to 1 so you will write here is magnitude 1 and 2 here will be 2 into 1 and plus plus and minus here will be minus 2 okay 2 1 ja 2 into 1 and here is the plus 3 into 0 okay why because k is not here no so you will write 2 minus 2 plus 0 it means this will be cancel out 0 a dot b okay vector a dot b equal to 0 okay means if there is a perpendicular on that case you can find out but if simply you will find out if the uh, questions is given to find out or the two uh, one is the displacement and another is force given on that case you can find out okay another questions <coughs> if a force if a force f equal to 2i plus 3j plus k okay newton is acting acting on a body due to which it displays displays 5i minus j plus k in meters what is okay what is the work done by that force okay you will find the work done work done that means <coughs> you see that if you will find out the work done you know that w equal to fs okay or w equal to f you have 2i plus j 3j no okay 3j plus k and here is dot product you will take okay here's 5i minus j plus k like that then multiply this one 2 into 5 and this will be 1 okay plus 3 plus and minus here will be minus okay 3 3 into 1 plus 1 into 1 so here will be 2 minus 3 plus 1 then here will be 3 minus 3 this will be 0 it means the work done by this okay work done by applying force 2i plus 3j plus k okay what will be the work done so work done we got 0 okay so such type of questions you can find out 
but if there is the variable force okay you will also find out the work done by varying okay varying force varying force means work done work done by varying varying force varying force means what suppose that we have axis this is the x axis y axis and in this you have to find out the suppose that this is the elementary portions okay and suppose that here to this position is s1 and this is the s2 from this origins okay origin is that one so how you will find out the work done because you have formula since you have w is equal to fs okay cos theta you can take or elementary portions also you can take okay means <coughs> or you can write dw is equal to fds fds it means the force is acting okay on the z but it is not you know that if we have the elementary portion on that case okay on that case you will apply this formula okay and directly you can if there is not uh, in this process so directly you can apply the direct formula okay so in the varying what you will take here you see that the in this case the displacements okay the displacements this is the displacement here is the force okay force this axis that is the y axis and along x axis this is the displacement so how you will find out the work done you know that w is equal to integration of dw okay or w is equal to integration you will take the limit here s1 to s2 and what is the value of tw here is the f you can find out so what will be the vector s okay dot ds okay so this will be the work done and now you can solve this one so how you will solve if you will remove this vector signs so here will be if you will remove w is equal to integration of here s1 to s2 and here will be f ds cos theta okay s1 to s2 and according to that you can put okay so next we will relate this formula we will solve some questions also and you know one question is related that one that is called the work energy theorem so next class we will okay see the work energy theorems by varying this okay varying this force okay okay student thank you